Florida is bracing for Hurricane Milton, the strongest storm to hit the U.S. this year. Just weeks after Hurricane Helene left devastation across the southeast, Milton is now poised to strike with Category 5 force. Florida's west coast is under hurricane warning. The storm is expected to make landfall on Wednesday night with winds of 180 miles per hour. Beds have been set up for emergency workers inside a stadium. U.S. President Joe Biden has approved an emergency declaration. 7,000 federal workers are on standby. The Tampa Bay area has not had a direct hurricane hit in over a century, but that possibility is now running out. The U.S. has barely begun to recover from Helene's devastation, and there is a feeling Milton could be worse. My normal hurricane prep is... Uh, we, we pretty much watch the news, and if my wife says, hey, it's time to, we might need to board up, and I, we watch what, the, what the, how much the wind speed is going to be, when if it, is it coming at that point, and if they start advising, hey, and start bringing everything in, that's, you know, we watch the news, and that's how we know when to start boarding up, when to start bringing things in, the, hanging on the walls and things outside. The hurricane has already slammed into Mexico's Huacatan Peninsula forcing evacuations in Progreso and Celestoon Town. The Gulf Coast cities are bracing for flooding and destruction. My daughters have been living here for about six years. I come for months, then I leave again. But this time it was my turn to be here and we decided it's better to go to someplace safer. Let's talk more about this Hurricane Milton. Our correspondent Susan Tehran is now joining us live from New York. Susan, hi. Just a few moments ago, President Joe Biden did conclude his updates on Hurricane Milton. Here are some takeaways from his address. I'll just read a couple of them. Biden says that Hurricane Milton could be the one of the worst storms in U.S. for 100 years. Floridians living in areas under an evacuation order have been urged by the president to leave immediately as a matter of life and death. And this is very interesting. He says that he spoke to all political leaders in the region and told them anything they ask for, they could get. Have the evacuations begun? Yeah, there's been mass evacuation, Eric, from Florida, notably that Tampa Bay area, which is really susceptible to damage as Hurricane Milton makes its way into inland, which is Florida is going to be its first place of wrath, really. Uh, we're expecting about uh, 145 mile per hour winds. It's currently a Category 4 hurricane. That doesn't make it any better than a Category 5, not five notably for those people living there. As you mentioned, the evacuations have begun, but it was interesting. I was listening to some people who live in the area and there is a concern also about evacuation efforts because while there are places, some places for people to evacuate to, people were saying on the ground that a lot of them can't afford to evacuate and leave their houses and leave. And one of the reasons for that is because they have to take a lot of groceries, a lot of stuff with them. They don't know when they're coming back and that just doesn't seem feasible for them. And then it's the elderly. Are they getting the support that they're needed to get to evacuate? Uh, but the roads are packed bumper to bumper. Traffic is very high. People have started to already evacuate because the government has told them to. But then you have to remember that there are those that are going to be left behind and try to weather the storm or have places that they usually hide because mm -hmm. Florida is such a high um, risk place for hurricanes like this. Susan, very quickly, the president also warned that Hurricane Milton could enter Florida as a hurricane and also leave as one. We also had uh, authorities in Florida giving or speaking to the press. What did they say? Well, they're saying that it is, quote unquote, a very serious threat with life threatening implications already. Uh, we do know that issues for the east coast of Florida from many regions, not only by the water, uh, is just the fact that uh, they're not prepared, despite the fact being really a hurricane of, you know, a region that really gets hurricanes right now, they're saying that they're not really as prepared as they thought they would be. And that is something that people have been very critical to the federal government. They say that there's FEMA money, federal money going to Helene. That's running out. How are they going to help uh, 
mitigate the challenges that they have for Milton. So there's a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, mm -hmm. and people are just bracing and praying for the best. All right, let's see how that pans out. That is our correspondent, Susan Tehrani, live in New York. Susan, thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.